for the deadline. But uh, just in terms of Blake leading this offense next year, what do you think of the decision, and, and what do you think uh, it looks like? Yeah, it's one of those really tough decisions, but it's also the right decision. And I, I think that, you know, as spring started and, and things like that, we saw Gary, um, you know, play really well. And that was kind of the reports was that, you know, Gary's playing really well. He's got the leadership and, and all of those intangibles. And it, it's kind of interesting. It reminds me so much of last year. And then it also doesn't. But the reasons that it does is just because last year, Jacob Zeno started off so well uh, in spring camp. And then as spring progressed, it just completely started to lean uh, towards Gary's direction. And then obviously in the spring game, Gary performed really well. Well, this was a similar situation in that Gary was the leader throughout. Um, but I, I think that maybe Chapin was probably really coming on as of late. And then obviously the spring game, he was phenomenal. I mean, you know, I, I think that if you go watch that performance, um, it's very hard to say that anyone should be starting over him. I mean, he just played so well, so in control. Seems like he really, his knowledge of the playbook has just completely expanded. And I think if you go look at kind of Jeff Grimes' track record um, and the guys they've coached, and obviously the the most uh, or the easiest comparison is Zach Wilson. And when you watch that BYU offense, um, you really need some of the things that Blake Shapin does in this offense. The deep shots down the sideline, the uh, ability to make throws on the run more consistently, and then kind of the, the biggest thing in my mind is just the accuracy. Uh, Shapin, in my mind, is just more accurate than Gary. And, you know, when you bring that all together along with the processing that Shapin does going through Reed, um, it's just very hard uh, for them to, I think, come to any other decision other than start like Shapin. And also, guys, I think um, on the recruiting trail, it's paying dividends as well. Uh, I went out and saw Austin Novosad yesterday, um, and he was very happy with the decision as well. And his reasoning was, um, basically the same as I'm kind of saying was that Jeff Grimes, you know, the offense that he wants to run really needs more of a gunslinger, a guy that's willing to expand the offense vertically as well as horizontally, but really challenge the defense vertically. And uh, I think that this is just a great decision for the future and also a great decision for this team next year as I do think it raises their ceiling. So we have now seen in the last couple of years you had – Obviously, Charlie was there a long time. His last year there was so bad across the board in many ways, team and his performance and offense and all that. But there was this chant of Zeno, and you were very close to J Jacob because of the recruitment process. And then that, you know, that was the guy, and he doesn't beat out Gary Bohannon. And then Gary Bohannon becomes the guy, and now Shapin beats him out. This, this is, to me, it's not because of lack of production. It's because people are getting better and winning these jobs. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. I mean, you can't you can't stand still, right? And the funniest thing is, is I think that we, or at least myself, and I think others included, really thought Jacob was going to win the job because of his arm and the ability to expand the field, but he couldn't do it to the level that Shapin is doing it. But it's kind of that similar situation, right, where it's like Gary's the better runner, the better athlete. We all knew that. But he was able to beat out Jacob with the leadership and the intangibles and you know, just being in control of the offense. But with Shapin, he couldn't overcome the talent differential. And that's just what it is. You know, when you watch Shapin throw the football, um, it's just very different. And so, yeah, you're right. It's guys being better, guys maturing in the program. And, you know, talent wins out. And I think this is great by the staff because it really shows that, you know, they're true to their word. You know, if you come in and you beat someone out, you're going to be the guy. This is not a standstill process. It's about getting better, playing the best guys, and going out and winning football games. And they've proven that they're going to stand by that. All right. So you mentioned there might be more attrition. 